Hi, I'm Shaka Starks and welcome back to my channel. From the title, you already know what I'm gonna be talking about. This is a highly requested video that people wanna know. So I'm just sharing, I'm just sharing. I'm sharing what I do. I'm gonna be sharing my top five tips for keeping your house clean and tidy with a toddler or with a child. Before I get into my tips, let me just say, I am not an expert. I am not Marie Kondo. I am, look, I'm none of that. I'm, I've only been a mommy for two years. My son is two. I'm just telling y'all what works for me, okay? I will say that I am pretty good at keeping my house tidy even before I had a son. So I've had to adjust. <laughs> and let me just, yeah, it's, it's been real. But I'm gonna tell y'all what I do and hopefully it works for you. If it doesn't, that's okay. <laughs> do what works for you. If something else works for you, please share it in the comment section. It's all love. Like we're just here to support and love each other. So let me know what you do. Um, put me on because it's not easy. It's not easy, mommies and daddies. So with that being said let's get into the video so the first thing i'm gonna share that works for me is creating play spaces for your kid in the room you want them to play in this lets them know what the expectation is it lets them know how you expect them to play what's appropriate for your house and that space um this can be a play mat this can be a um, a rug that they play on this can literally this can be you know a playroom make a space for them that they know is okay for them to play they know how you want them to play in that space you can model it for them in my house I try to make I have three main spaces for my son to play and each space has a different vibe um, and I try to match the toys in that space with the vibe of that space. This does two things. It minimizes clutter because I have I've categorized the toys so they're not all in one space and this organically creates organization because I know what goes where. Um, and it just gives a home to those things. So in his bedroom, that's where I want it to be, you know, more of a turn down. That's where we have quiet time. So I have most of his quiet toys, um, books and blocks and Legos and things that don't really make a lot of noise and don't really require him to like be, you know, turned up. Um, in the basement, I have more of his bigger toys. It makes more sense because that space is, there's a lot more floor space. So his basketball hoop, his tractors, like toys that he pushes and rides on, all that is in that space and in the kitchen, um, family room, area that's where we do like more coloring or painting markers cars um play-doh stuff that i can easily clean up because that area has a wood floor and if he's playing on the table i can easily just wipe that stuff up i don't want that stuff in his bedroom or in the basement where there's carpet so keep that in mind when you are trying to keep your house tidy is organize your kids toys in the way you want them to play in that space the next tip this is a big one i feel like a lot of mommies and daddies know this or do this and that is swiping out and rotating your kids toys we know kids accumulate a lot of toys for birthday christmas i don't know you want to buy them stuff other people want to buy them stuff i'll speak for myself I, my son has so much stuff and especially when it's in one room, it's just like, yo, you don't need all of this. When you have things in different spaces, it just naturally, you know, limits the amount of clutter. And when you're rotating and swapping out those toys, there's no need for you to have everything out because that's only gonna make it harder to tidy up. We know that kids will play with something and be over it or they will um, outgrow a toy. With Malcolm, he is too, so. <laughs> 
a lot of his like baby toys he's like over like a lot of like the you know rattles and like soft stuffed animal type toys he's over so i am slowly just packing those toys up and storing them away because he's not reaching for them anymore so swipe out and rotate your kids toys it will naturally like lessen the amount of clutter you have my next tip is to purchase things that are functional and aesthetically pleasing for your space an example of this is in my house, my color scheme is pretty neutral, blacks, whites, grays. So when I'm shopping for furniture or toys or activities for my son, I try to get things that match with the color scheme of my house. His high chair is gray. His playpen was gray. His play mat is gray. This way, it just automatically looks a little neater and kind of flows better. It's not like, oh my God, there's all these, there's all this kid stuff or, oh my God, my, my house all of a sudden looks like a preschool classroom. Of course, in certain spaces, you know, that makes sense. For instance, your family room and you have a small table or an activity, you know, table for your son or daughter. Why not get one that matches with the color scheme of your home and looks like a piece of furniture? Doing this will just automatically make things look a little neater and tidier in your home as opposed to having things that contrast in color or a lot of different colors. So when you're shopping for your kids, buy toys that are aesthetically pleasing. Buy toys that match with what you have going on in your house. That way, even if they're out and they're not stored away, it still looks good. My next tip, consider the size of the items that you're buying before you get them. So what I mean is size matters, guys. You don't want to buy just like furniture or anything else. It needs to fit in the space that you have. So an example of this is when my son was born and I was doing his registry, of course, there were all these really cool like things that I wanted to get for him. But one of the things that I really kept in mind was like, where am I going to put it? Where is this going to go? How am I going to store it? is this gonna fit um his high chair was a gray high chair it folds down i can easily store it away in a corner or in the closet no big deal although like there were these really gorgeous high chairs and really gorgeous play pins that were like you know great quality and I knew like I wanted for my son I also knew that living in a one bedroom apartment it was gonna get really cluttered really quickly. So when I was shopping for a playpen, I made sure that I got one that folds down really small and I could store away under the bed, in a closet, in a corner. Same thing with his stroller. Anything that was big that I knew he needed, I made sure that it made sense for my space. This goes beyond if you have kids, okay? There's nothing worse than having a teeny room with huge furniture and you're like trying to like, you know, get by and you can't even, there's no space for you in that room or your stuff. So keep that in mind. It will make your life so much easier when you're trying to keep your house clean. My last and final tip, my number one tip, y'all, if you have kids, if you don't have kids. I say this so much and this is like it seems like a no-brainer but it's really not and that is storage get functional storage for your stuff get functional storage for your kids toys for your kids clothes for their bedding everything have a place have a home for everything i don't care how often you clean i don't care how much you you know if you have a cleaning person come in your house every day, if there's nowhere to put that stuff, you're gonna constantly battle with clutter in a messy home. So use your closet space, use your pantry space, you buy storage systems, use your drawers, make sure that there is a home for your stuff and it will automatically make your life so much easier your stuff won't be all over the floor it won't be all over your dresser all over your sink create a storage system for your home 
in my house my son has a in his bedroom he has an ikea storage system super affordable it's not organized at all but it looks clean <laughs> It looks clean in his room. Nothing makes sense. All the toys are in like, you know, in those bins and I just slide them away, but it's clean. The same thing in the basement. Nothing is organized, but I have his toys stored in these beautiful big um, baskets. It looks clean, okay? Because it has a home. It also makes it really easy for him to clean up after himself. Two big baskets, everything goes in the basket. The big toys get stored away in the closet. Be creative about this if you don't have a lot of space. When my husband and I were in our one bedroom apartment, we use every freaking corner for storage, okay? Um, we use ottomans, that's a really, that's, ottomans are the plug because it's, you know, you can use it for multiple purposes. You can use it to sit on, you can lift it up and store things in there, um, cabinets, shelves, bookcases, baskets, bins, all of these things just make your life so much easier. So get proper storage for your house. Also get storage that matches your home decor. If, stick to a color scheme. It does not all have to be the same color. It does not all have to be the same finish. But if you are, if you have a color palette that you're working with, even if it's different types of furniture, different sizes, it's gonna look cohesive. So get storage that works for your house and get store, just get storage. This next tip is just a bonus. It's kind of just one of these things that you need to keep in mind. And it kind of like sums up everything I've talked about thus far. And that's keep in mind not to overstimulate your kid with a bunch of toys or a bunch of activities. Of course, you know, when all their toys are out, it's really exciting and, you know, it's fun to see them gravitate to certain things. But after a while, not only does it create clutter, for you and create a big mess for you to clean up later. Overstimulating your child with a bunch of toys or activities all at once can also make them really frustrated and make it really hard for them to focus. It can make them easily distracted. I'm sure you've seen a kid play with one toy for a few minutes and then think, oh, and then see something else and be like, oh my God, I wanna play with this now. And oh my God, I wanna play with this. And then maybe they get get frustrated or have like a little, you know, moment or a tantrum because they're so over stimulated. Their brain is everywhere. They're kind of confused. They don't know, you know, they can't focus. And for a kid, obviously they don't know that that's what's happening. But just like us as adults, when we walk into a room and I don't know, for me, let's say I walk into a room and there's so many different kinds of makeup and I'm so excited. I'm like, oh my God, this is wonderful. Look at all this makeup. And I start to try one thing and then I think about trying something else. And then all of a sudden I'm like, yo, this is too much. I don't know. I don't know, you know, what I want to use right now. Um, so just keep that in mind with your kids. They don't need everything all at once it just makes them distracted it can make them frustrated um and it can just make it and it also makes your house messy so don't overstimulate your kids with a bunch of stuff at once don't overstimulate yourself with a bunch of stuff at once i hope these tips work for you i hope they make sense if they don't you know, it's okay. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, nah, but if they don't and something else works for you, please leave leave a comment in, in the comment section. Let me know what works for you. Let me know what are your top tips for keeping your house clean. As my son gets older, I'm sure I'm these, you know, I'm gonna have to do things a little different and modify what I do and that's okay. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video and check out some of my other videos, y'all. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah!